Betelgeuse, a massive red supergiant star located in the Orion constellation, is a remarkable celestial object that has captured the fascination of astronomers and astrophysicists alike for a long time. If it were situated at the center of our solar system, its dimensions would extend far beyond the orbit of Jupiter, outshining even the Sun. This colossal star's physical presence is immense, and it is also going through significant changes that could lead to a cataclysmic event on an extraordinary scale. Scientists, including renowned experts like Brian Cox, have expressed concerns about Betelgeuse, as it has been sending unusual signals throughout space. These developments have raised an important question. Could we be on the verge of witnessing a spectacular explosion that could drastically alter the night sky? The mystery of Betelgeuse remains a source of intrigue for the scientific community. Much like living organisms, stars undergo birth, life, and death in ways that often challenge our understanding. Betelgeuse, a red supergiant, resides on the outer edge of our galaxy and has been the subject of much interest due to its immense size and advanced age. Its reddish hue and variable brightness have consistently attracted the attention of both amateur and professional astronomers. Over the years, its fluctuating luminosity and color changes have sparked curiosity, but recent events have escalated these questions regarding its future. As Betelgeuse approaches the end of its life cycle, its sheer size is evident. It is roughly 1,000 times larger than the sun, so large, in fact, that if it replaced the sun, its outer layers would stretch far beyond the orbit of Mars, swallowing Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars in the process. This tremendous size reflects its current state and its position in the stellar evolutionary process. Having exhausted the hydrogen in its core, Betelgeuse is now expanding and cooling, signaling that its end is near. Betelgeuse is estimated to be around 8 to 8.5 million years old, which may seem relatively young by human standards, but it is ancient in terms of stellar lifespans. Over the course of millions of years, this star has undergone dramatic transformations, evolving from a hot, blue star to the cooler red supergiant it is now. These changes are driven by the balance between nuclear fusion and gravitational forces, which cause stars to expand and contract throughout their lives. The red color of Betelgeuse is a result of its lower surface temperature compared to hotter stars like the Sun. While the Sun's surface temperature is around 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse's is much cooler, about 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature makes Betelgeuse emit light at longer wavelengths, giving it its characteristic red appearance. However, this color change is more than just an aesthetic feature. It provides astronomers with valuable insights into the star's internal processes and ongoing evolution. Betelgeuse's color and brightness have not been consistent over time. Ancient civilizations, including the Romans and Chinese, once described Betelgeuse as yellow, and it wasn't until the 9th century that Arabic astronomers observed its shift to red. This color shift marks the star's natural progression from a hotter, younger state to the cooler red giant we see today. In addition to its changing color, Betelgeuse is classified as a variable star, meaning its brightness changes over time. These fluctuations can occur over both short-term cycles lasting days and longer-term patterns spanning years. The variability in Betelgeuse's luminosity adds to its mystery. Unlike other stars, which exhibit predictable brightness trends, Betelgeuse sometimes deviates from these patterns, suggesting that complex, not yet fully understood processes may be occurring within it. One of the most notable events in recent history was the unexpected dimming of Betelgeuse in 2019. Known as the Great Dimming, this unusual phenomenon sent ripples through the scientific community, as Betelgeuse, typically one of the brightest objects in the night sky, lost much of its brilliance. The star's brightness decreased at a rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day reaching its dimmest point in February 2020. This drastic change raised many questions about what was happening to the star. One of the challenges in studying Betelgeuse lies in the delay between an event and its observation on Earth. Light from Betelgeuse takes more than 725 years to reach our planet, so when we observe the star, we are essentially looking at how it appeared in the past, not in real time. This time lag makes it difficult to track rapid changes in the star's behavior, complicating efforts to predict or explain its fluctuations. In response to these unusual observations, astronomers, 
including Andrea Dupree from the Harvard Center for Astrophysics, have been closely monitoring Betelgeuse using advanced instruments like the Hubble Space Telescope. These observations have yielded valuable insights into the changes occurring in the outer layers of Betelgeuse's atmosphere. The data from the Hubble Space Telescope showed that material was being ejected from Betelgeuse at speeds of up to 200,000 miles per hour, forming a dust cloud that partially obscured the star's surface and contributed to its dimming. This rapid mass loss has led some scientists to speculate that Betelgeuse may be nearing an even more dramatic event, a supernova. The big question is whether Betelgeuse is on the verge of exploding in a supernova. A supernova is the violent death of a star, and if Betelgeuse were to reach this stage, its explosion would produce an incredibly bright burst of light, visible even during the day. This event would outshine the full moon and offer a unique opportunity to study the final moments of a massive star's life. However, despite the spectacular nature of such an explosion, Betelgeuse's distance from Earth, about 725 light years, ensures that no direct harm would come from the event. Several theories have been proposed to explain Betelgeuse's recent dimming. One hypothesis is that it marks the beginning of the star's transition to a supernova. Another possibility is that a cloud of dust, formed by the star's ongoing material loss, is obstructing its light. Some researchers suggest that the dimming could result from changes in Betelgeuse's outer layer or photosphere, possibly due to the formation of a large dark spot on its surface. Regardless of the cause, Betelgeuse's dimming remains a significant area of focus for astronomers. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are crucial to our understanding of stellar evolution. These stars represent the final stage of a massive star's life before it explodes in a supernova. Their immense size and relatively short lifespans make them ideal subjects for studying the processes that lead to a star's death. Furthermore, the energy released by these stars during their final stages contributes to the formation of heavy elements, which are essential for creating planets and life as we know it. Should Betelgeuse explode, it would provide an exceptional opportunity to observe a supernova up close. Supernovae play a key role in enriching the interstellar medium with heavy elements, which are then incorporated into new stars, planets, and possibly life. The eventual supernova of Betelgeuse could have profound implications for our understanding of these cosmic events and could provide a dazzling spectacle for astronomers and stargazers around the world. While Betelgeuse's great distance from Earth ensures our safety from any harmful effects, the study of its dimming and eventual demise will continue to offer valuable insights into the larger processes that govern stellar evolution. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse offer critical clues about the universe's development, and their explosive deaths play a significant role in shaping the future of galaxies and star systems. As astronomers continue to observe Betelgeuse's transformations, the knowledge gained from this iconic star will likely offer new perspectives on the broader field of stellar evolution. The study of red supergiants and their eventual fate provides essential information about how massive stars live and die. By understanding the mechanisms driving these processes, scientists can make more accurate predictions about the life cycles of other stars in similar stages of evolution. Betelgeuse's behavior may also help to uncover the mysterious factors influencing variability in stars. Astronomers are likely to use Betelgeuse as a benchmark for comparison studying its fluctuations alongside those of other stars to refine models of stellar behavior. The mass loss observed in Betelgeuse offers a glimpse into the extreme conditions experienced by red supergiants, and as the star nears the end of its life, its outer layers will likely become even more unstable, shedding even more material. Understanding this mass loss is crucial for predicting how other red supergiants will evolve. Supernovae are not only awe-inspiring cosmic events, but they are also fundamental to the formation of heavy elements throughout the universe. When a massive star like Betelgeuse explodes, it releases elements such as iron, carbon, and oxygen, which are the building blocks for new planets, stars, and potentially life itself. Betelgeuse's explosion, if it were to happen, would contribute to this cosmic cycle, enriching the interstellar medium and paving the way for new star systems. The shock waves from a supernova can compress nearby gas clouds, triggering the formation of new stars, and the radiation released during the explosion can influence the chemical composition of these new stars and planets. Understanding these processes is essential for understanding the future of the universe.
As Betelgeuse continues to evolve and exhibit unusual behavior, astronomers will intensify their efforts to study it using advanced tools like the Hubble Space Telescope and other observatories. These real-time observations will provide crucial data that will improve our models of stellar evolution, particularly in the areas of mass loss, brightness variability, and other phenomena that characterize the life cycles of massive stars. In conclusion, the study of Betelgeuse offers an invaluable opportunity to learn more about the life and death of stars, particularly those much larger than our Sun. While our Sun is a medium-sized star with a long lifespan, understanding the behavior of red supergiants like Betelgeuse will allow us to make more accurate predictions about the fate of other massive stars. Moreover, the insights gained from studying Betelgeuse can deepen our understanding of cosmic forces such as galaxy formation, star clusters, and planetary systems. As we continue to monitor Betelgeuse and other red supergiants, we will gain a better understanding of the fundamental processes that govern the universe, helping us answer some of the most profound questions in astronomy. Beyond the excitement surrounding Betelgeuse's potential for a supernova explosion, this star offers a rare look into the final stages of stellar evolution. Its massive size, unpredictable behavior, and impending death provide valuable insights into how stars evolve and eventually perish. The study of Betelgeuse not only helps us understand the intricacies of this particular star, but also sheds light on the life cycles of other massive stars and their impact on the cosmos as a whole. As scientists observe Betelgeuse's evolution, they continue to view it as a natural laboratory for studying stellar death. Understanding its transformation into a supernova, should that occur, will help us grasp how other stars of similar size and composition follow the same path. Supernovae are critical events in the life cycle of a star and serve as pivotal moments in the ongoing expansion of the universe. Betelgeuse's behavior, especially its sudden dimming and fluctuating luminosity, offers astronomers an opportunity to refine their models of how red supergiants behave as they approach the end of their lives. While the exact cause of its recent dimming is unclear, one thing is certain. Betelgeuse is a key piece of the puzzle in understanding stellar death and the cosmic processes that govern it. The significant mass loss observed in Betelgeuse is another fascinating aspect of its final years. As the star sheds material at such a rapid pace, scientists can learn more about the life expectancy and eventual fate of similar stars. This mass loss not only signals Betelgeuse's impending demise, but also contributes to our understanding of how red supergiants affect their surrounding environments. The material ejected by the star will eventually mix into the interstellar medium, influencing the formation of new stars, planets, and other cosmic bodies. Astronomers, using both ground-based telescopes and space-based observatories, are continuously gathering new data on Betelgeuse. Observations from instruments like the Hubble Space Telescope allow them to gain a deeper understanding of the star's behavior and internal changes, helping to track how stars like Betelgeuse interact with their environments, especially in the final stages of life. These studies also offer new insights into how the rapid mass loss and variable brightness of such stars shape the overall structure of our galaxy. The mass loss from Betelgeuse is of particular interest, as red supergiants like this one expel enormous quantities of material into space, significantly impacting the surrounding interstellar medium. This process enriches the medium with heavy elements, which are crucial for the formation of future stars and planetary systems. When these elements are released into space, they become the building blocks for new stars, planets, and perhaps even life itself. As Betelgeuse continues its journey through the later phases of its stellar evolution, Astronomers are keenly aware that its eventual supernova could trigger the birth of new stars. The explosion would release vast amounts of energy, compressing nearby gas clouds and fostering the formation of new celestial bodies. This is one of the primary ways in which the universe renews itself, creating the raw materials for the next generation of stars and planets. Although the potential for a supernova is exciting, it is unlikely to pose any direct danger to Earth. The vast distance between Betelgeuse and our planet, approximately 725 light years, ensures that any harmful radiation or shock waves would not reach us. However, the observational data gathered during this process will continue to provide invaluable information on how stars evolve, die, and contribute to the life cycle of the universe. These findings will help us understand how future stellar events might impact other star systems within our galaxy.
Beetlejuice's impending demise, whether through a supernova or some other event, will be studied in great detail, not only for the wealth of information it provides, but also because it represents broader principles of stellar evolution. The star's behavior as it nears its end can teach scientists more about how stars of all sizes age and ultimately expire, allowing them to refine their models of stellar life cycles and the processes that occur when a star runs out of fuel.